Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to Show Me Mo Vegan, where I make easy, whole food vegan meals. It's another CSA video, so I'm showing you the produce that I got and what I made this week. If you're keeping track, this is week 10 of my CSA. I did one of my favorite things, which was I basically took almost everything in my CSA and threw it into a one pot meal to make for really easy food prep. Plus, I'll show you a few other meals that I made to hopefully give you some more meal ideas. So let's see what I got. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite way to food prep, which is to chop everything and throw it in a pot or a pan and make either a soup or a stir fry. And usually it turns out pretty well. So I decided to make a ratatouille this week because my CSA had all of the main ingredients of a ratatouille. So here I'm just chopping all those veggies. I did some garlic and onions and then I'm going to chop some yellow squash and I also had some eggplant and tomatoes. And normally ratatouille I think is made more like a casserole, but I decided to do it in the crock pot. I love my crock pot and I used to use it all the time, but I haven't used it so much since I got my instant pot. I've been using that a lot more, but I decided to pull the crock pot out today. I love it because it makes the house smell good all day long and I love that slow cooked taste. see my crock pot was getting quite full but that's okay it'll cook down a little bit once the veggies start to release their liquids and then this is one of my little tips I always want to get every last bit out of my jars so I'm taking my veggie broth here and pouring a little bit into my tomato paste jar shaking it up to get all of that tomato paste out of the jar and one thing I forgot to show was the green peppers. So ratatouille usually has bell peppers. I didn't have any fresh, so I used a bag of frozen chopped bell peppers. Keeping frozen veggies on hand is perfect for instances like this where you don't have something fresh and you need something quick. It also cuts down on your prep time because you don't have to chop the veggies. And you don't need too much liquid because all those veggies give off a lot of liquid. So as you can see here, it's turned into a ratatouille soup. And just before serving, I'm adding in that beautiful fresh basil from my CSA. I think traditionally you would just tear the basil leaves because basil is very delicate, but I did go ahead and chop it because I wanted to put a whole bunch in there because it's so delicious. This 
is great alongside some whole grain bread. I have a couple pieces of Ezekiel toast there. You can also eat it with your favorite whole grains. And then the leftovers are great to reheat and eat throughout the week. I don't use eggplant all that much and everything I end up making does not end up being very beautiful. <laughs> so the eggplant, when you cook it, it turns kind of a brown color. So this dip that I made ended up being a little brown but it doesn't really matter what it looks like, it's still going to taste delicious. I cooked the eggplant in my Instant Pot, five minutes high pressure with a little bit of water. After it was done, I released the pressure, opened it up and turned on the saute function. I let some of the water evaporate off and then I cooked some garlic cloves in there and then threw in some curry powder and onion powder and a little bit of black pepper. After it cooled a little bit, I added it to my food processor and blended it up with a little bit of tahini and the zest and juice of two limes. Again, I'll put all of the exact amounts in a recipe in the blog post linked in the description box. I took pita and cut it into wedges and then toasted it to use for dipping in my eggplant dip. And I also had some of the extra veggies from my CSA the tomatoes and cucumbers to dip. And in the middle, I can't remember, this was some kind of microgreen that I had gotten at the grocery store. I think it was pea shoots. And then I'm having that with these summer squash patties. Now, I'm sorry, I don't have the exact amounts for how I made this. I really can't remember what I did, but I know for sure I had some shredded squash. It was either the summer squash or zucchini. Some pinto beans that I mashed up and then some mixed whole grains. I have a video where I show how I make this exact mix of grains, but you could use any whole grains. Even just cooked rice or quinoa is great to add in a veggie burger. And then I think I added a little flaxseed and then some spices, probably some garlic powder, onion powder, maybe some no salt seasoning and black pepper. And then I baked those in the oven at 375 degrees until they were nice and crispy. I had actually made these a couple of weeks ago and froze some of the extras, so I had just pulled these out of my freezer to complete my meal. And then on another day, I did all of the same components, but instead of using the pita as chips, I just made a little pita sandwich and put the eggplant dip inside the sandwich like a sandwich spread. Here's another example of how I used that eggplant dip. I turned it into a salad dressing. So I simply mixed it in with my cucumbers and tomatoes, topped that with some sesame seeds, and then I had that alongside my meal of sweet potatoes. And honestly, I don't remember what is in that meal, but I think it's some kind of whole grain and bean mixture with some kale. And then my cornbread, which I just posted last week, I think. So if you haven't checked out that video, I'll link that so you can see how to make this cornbread. This was another kind of random meal that I just threw together. So on the left, I have quinoa and then black beans. And on the right, I have a little salad made out of cucumbers and tomatoes from my CSA. And originally I was going to have them separately, but I decided to throw it all together. And I topped it with this sweet chili sauce from the Date Lady, along with some lime juice. I like this sweet chili sauce because it's oil free. It does have the date syrup, which is a little bit of a processed food. Normally I would like to use whole fruits as my sweeteners. So just blended dates rather than date syrup because it does remove a little bit of the fiber that way. But I still think date syrup is a great alternative to things like maple syrup or just plain sugar. And this sweet chili sauce is really delicious. It makes for a really easy meal and I had that with some roasted sweet potato fries. And remember, you don't need oil to make your fries. Just cut up your potatoes and then roast them dry. And last but not least from my CSA, I had some beets. I ran out of time to do anything with them, so I just steamed them and froze them to use in smoothies. Check out one of my previous CSA videos to see how I made a beet hummus. I'll link that video for you as well. 
Thanks for checking out another week of what I do with my CSA. I really hope these videos are helpful for you and give you ideas on how to make easy whole food plant-based meals. If it was helpful, hit the like button. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel to get more ideas on how to live this lifestyle. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.